Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can measure the potentiometer voltage and display it as a bar graph on an LCD screen. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. There are times that you need to display level of something that is controlled by a knob let's say the voltage current or maybe speed of a motor uh, level of liquid or something that is controlled with the knob uh, displaying with bar graph rather than number has advantage that it can be recognized easily from further distance and immediately you discover the magnitude so this project is about that i'm using the simple potentiometer here to display this but if you have a voltage between 0 to 5 that represents some value you can connect it directly to arduino to be displayed as bar graph now let me explain the wiring for this lcd screen either this module or this module be, because they have the same i square c module they're exactly the same. We have SCL and SDA, VCC and ground. SCL and SDA, we have an Arduino, we have SCL. We have SCL and SDA. Also SDA is A4 and SCL is A5 on Arduino Uno. If you're using other devices, uh, for example, Uno Ethernet, SDA is A4, A5 is SCL, Arduino Mega, 20 is SDA and 21 is SCL and the Northern Duo they have been all mentioned I will provide you the link for this as well VCC using blue line have been connected to 5 volts and uh, ground or GND have been connected using green to the ground of Arduino for this variable resistor or potentiometer we have three wires here these two wires will be connected one to ground one to 5 volts and the middle one must be connected to one of the pin that you define in our case we are using pin analog zero so we will be connected here make sure the middle pin goes here otherwise you when you rotate it you can make a short circuit between ground and five volts and it will be bad because when it goes to the right it will go to the maximum make sure the right one goes to the five volts if you want to keep the convention so i have another five volts here on my arduino if you don't have five volts we will define extra five volts on one of the pin which I have a separate video, I will provide you the link so you can define another pin as 5 volts. And the other wire will be connected to the ground. I've spent quite some time working on the class, working on the code, making sure it works with editing. You don't lose anything to hit the subscribe button. That's the least you can do for me. Thank you for subscribing. Let me now explain the code. What you need to do is download the liquid cluster I I square C library. The link will be provided. You will download it as a zip file and also the link will be provided for LCD bar graph RoboJax. You have to install them one by one. After downloading this, it will be one zip file. This will be another zip file. Save it in your uh, computer somewhere. Click on sketch, include library add zip library then point it to where you have saved it this is for example if you're on the desktop or my document wherever this is a file you point to that file and click open and that's it do this for both of these after that you will have the example file you can open it by clicking at the file examples and scroll down until you reach to r robojax here robojax LCD bar graph and open analog read which is this file and it starts from this point wire.h is a file that is part of Arduino you don't have to do anything this you have just downloaded these two these are two classes that are needed for this purpose here you define LCD number of columns at 16 if you are using the other one if you're using this one it will be 16 character by 2 16 and this is 20 and then 4 line so you define 16 characters and then 2 line or 24 line 
and this is the sensor pen. This is where you connect your variable resistor or potentiometer to the pen. So this is pen zero, taking it to pen zero. After that, you are creating from this instant, uh, instance of this class, we call it LCD. And then this is the address, 0x, 3f. 0x means hexadecimal, 3f is the address. And then this column comes from this value, and then LCD char or character comes from here. Now, to find this address, you need to open uh, I square C scanner. The link will be provided. So let me open I square C scanner. You open it and then upload your, your CD. Your CD is connected. Upload this. Once upload done, open the serial monitor and you will see that it will print the address, whatever address you have. In my case, it's 3F. It continuously read and print that for you. So this is the address. After that, we use the instance of LCD bar graph RoboJax, and then we call it LBG. You can change it to something else, as long as it's not reserved name. And then inside this, we are passing this uh, instance of the class, this object. Whatever you type, it must be the same. And then column 00, zero this is where we start the bar graph. This is where we start the bar graph from line zero this is line one from line zero character zero so this zero that you see is referring to that and then inside the setup we initialize the C uh, lcd by typing lcd.begin this is initializing it this is clearing the screen from previous value whatever it is and this text is printed on the first line and then we go to character zero line one in here character zero line one this was line zero and then we print voltage bar graph that you saw it on this screen. Voltage bar graph. And then we give the viewer one second to read it. And after that, inside the loop, this was the object that we created. Clear line. And we clear the line. This line will stay the same line. We don't need to refresh it because the class is taking care of it. But because this is our voltage, we have to refresh as the voltage changes, we have to be able to um, clear the previous value. So we type LBG, whatever name you type here. This was your object. And then clear line and one. If you put line zero, it will clear line zero. So line one is the one that we needed. And then we uh, read the input pen using analog read sensor pen. It reads pen zero, this pen. And the value of uh, whatever it is between z uh, will be stored in here. The value that it reads is a digital value between 0 and 1024, and will be stored here as integer, and we call it input val. And then this is drawing the bar graph for us, draw value lbg dot draw value and then input value whatever value we have and we mentioned that this has to be uh, with respect to 1024 points and it will fill up the screen you don't have to worry about it then we go for the next line here we get the input value multiplied by five because the maximum voltage that this can, can measure is five volts and number of steps between the five is from zero to 1024 1023 it's 1024 steps multiplied by this it will give us actual voltage that you read here 3.81 so the value the calculated value of this is stored in a variable called voltage of type float then we move the cursor by using lcd dot set cursor line character zero line one it means put the cursor in here and then we print the text called voltage this voltage is printed then we set the the cursor at character 8 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at 8 and line 1 which is this line we print the actual voltage that we have calculated then we go to character 12 after that that's 8 9 10 11 at 12 we print this V so it looks nice as a voltage and we wait 100 milliseconds the input as we change it
let's demonstrate it. This is Arduino Uno. You can connect it to Arduino Mega or any other Arduino that you have as long as you connect it properly. So I have set this up such that uh, when I rotate this to the left, it, sh it goes completely disappears and it shows zero. And the maximum, which shows five volts, it goes up to here. Only one line left here, the rest is completed. But in between any other value that you have, it can show properly the voltage and it's responding very well. Now let's say you want to start the bar graph, let's say from character H to the end. This was initially the number of columns. Because it is 16, we said we use the variable. But if you want to make it 8 character, just type 8 and you can start from 8. Now this is the length of the bar graph and this is the starting point and this is the line. Now you will see that it has moved at 5 is there, 2.5 is somewhere at the middle and it will start from that point. And the code works with this LCD 2004 exactly the same way. Right now we have 20 characters and at 5 volts it goes to the 20 characters. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please thumb up the video. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you subscribe, you will get updates of my upcoming videos. Make sure to leave the notification on. Take care.